and to join me as I make a dog wreath. Um, I'm going to uh, put a cute little sign on. I'm going to show you what I'm make, going to use to make. I'm, I'm a little hot. <laughs> uh, it's just one of those days I uh, forgot to download a, a app onto the iPad to be able to get the new group in and so I'll have to do that. And plus it's a hot day. I hope everybody's staying cool out there. What we're going to use to make this is our work form. Our deco mesh. This is um, poly jute, burlap poly jute. We are also going to be using some paper mesh, just a little of that. And we're going to use that in black and a white and a red. Then I have four different ribbons. I have the little paw print ribbon. I have black and white gingham. And then I have a burlap red dot and then I have red bandana and I have cut the ribbons at 12 inches and I've uh, got eight of each ribbon and then I have our dog sign beware of dog kisses I thought that was kind of cute and I have found something new. I'll try not to move too fast because I think when I move fast it kind of freezes it up a little bit. But moving fast is not in my nature. I always move fast. But anyway, uh, I have found some new things to use to attach signs or wire to our signs. And it could be because the camera is real close too. They are called screw eyes. And they are about, I think, uh, maybe, what did they say, 25 millimeters in size. I'm sure you can buy these at any hardware store. But I happen to come across these in my husband's tool toolbox. So, but they are just ideal. All I did was kind of tap them in a little bit with a hammer and then just screw them in. And then we're going to attach pipe cleaners just right through there. And what I'm going to do now, I am going to turn the camera down so you guys can see a little bit better. If you'll hang on just a second, you'll see my arm there. And then I'm going to move this back just a little so you can kind of see a little better what I'm doing. It's not necessary you see me. I'm not anything to look at. But uh, we'll attach the pipe cleaner to the sign and get that out of the way. And I just stick it through about halfway and give it some twists. And I'm going to set that aside because we're going to work on our putting our mesh on. And I think most of you, if you're coming on here, uh, leave me a comment so I know there's people here. I see two people. I'm using the iPad today instead of my phone. Our phone, my phone, well, I don't think I'm alone on this. A lot of people are having issues with their getting signals and stuff and phone calls dropped and I, I don't have the phone call so much as I just have uh, issues with keeping my signal so I thought today I would try using the iPad a little bit instead of can everybody see that okay give me a thumbs up thumbs down if you can I'm kind of keep moving it back just a little bit there maybe that's a little better okay our Deco mesh, I've cut it 24 inch strips, and that's generally what size I always use. And I just fold that down a little bit and kind of make a little hem, do it a couple of times. 
and then I just gather it up in the middle. And fold that over. And then I just start putting it in the twist ties, giving it a couple twists. that from rolling up on me over there because it likes to do that. And again, I just make my little hem, gather it up so it looks like kind of like a ruffle, fold one edge over a little bit, and it will look like this. And open up another twist tie, stick that in. When we're all done, we will do some fluffing on it. everybody doing today? Are you staying cool? It's just been awful. It was really nice this morning when I went out to go to church and I thought, oh, I wish it would stay like this all day. But, oh no, we started getting the humidity back and summer really bad, but I think we went straight from spring to like August weather. My summer days are like mid-80s with a nice little breeze, no humidity, or very low humidity. but these are at 24 inches and I cut 18 of those. There are 18 twist ties on these rings, 8 at the top, 10 at the bottom. And uh, you can cut this uh, even longer if you want. You can cut, you know, 30 inches, 36 inches, just depends. I kind of like the 24 myself. Um, some people cut them at 12 and 10. I have done that. Okay, I have the top row done. Work on the bottom. In any comments. Nobody has anything to say today? I don't want to do it with my phone. So I can see if there's any comments. Have a good 4th of July. I didn't uh, do a whole lot. It was just so hot. I planned on grilling out that day, but 
It was so hot, I didn't even feel like doing that. Standing in front of a hot grill. Stand with the natural mesh here. This mesh is uh, from Craft Outlet. You can find them online. There's various places online that carry this also besides Craft Outlet, uh, Trendy Tree, The Re Shop, and also Hobby Lobby has it. The only thing Hobby Lobby doesn't carry the wreath forms. And but you can uh, you can make your own work for them if you want to. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that. It's been a long time since I've made one like that, but to show you how you can do that. Okay, this is what it looks like. Done. That's the completed wreath, nice and full, with the natural mesh. Now I'm just going to take some of the 10 inch, and I cut these paper mesh at 10 inch, and I'm just going to fold those in like a triangle, bring that in, and just fold it up. And these do have a little bit more strings to it, and I'm just going to randomly put some of those around. Have a little more string, I just cut it, trim them off. And I'll grab another one here. This is the red, of course. Just put a few of those around. And it gives it a little extra boost of color. I'm just going to repeat the black. So much you can do with deco meshries. So many options of things to do. You can keep them simple with just some ribbons and bows, or you could add your ribbons, your bows, some flowers, a sign. There's just a lot of things you can do with them.
those on. Where is the easel? That. That looks like. And next I'm going to uh, put my sign on. And then we will do the ribbons. And just to give me a little room, I kind of pull that back so that I can have a little room to get down to the wire. I know many of you have watched me do this before. Sometimes you have to work at it. Get it down in there. I tell you, I have scratched my arm on this before. And when you put on your signs, you can you can put your signs anywhere you like. You can put them on the center, you can put them off to the side. This one I'm kind of putting off to the side middle. It's not really, and I'm also giving this a little bit of an angle. I'll show you here in just a second as soon as I get my pipe cleaner through. I'm going to give this one just a little bit of an angle. Just give this some twists around. And I'm going to hold that up so I can see it. There's that. Then I'm going to just take, this is a very quick, quick read. Just going to trim some of those off. Because my arms tear it up. And I'm going to take, this is my plan anyhow. I'm going to take uh, all the, the ribbons, every one of them and just layer them on top of each other. My plan is to use all four of them. And then I just squish them in the middle. I don't know if that's a technical wreath making term or not, squish them in the middle. That's what I did. And then I'm just gonna fan them out. try to uh, take them across from each other, you know, kind of like an X. top of each other. Hold them. I guess pinching would sound better than squishing, doesn't it? Ribbons, um, let's see. Probably the burlap polka dot I got at Hobby Lobby. And I might have gotten the bandana ribbon and the check there also. Uh, the paw print ribbon was probably ordered off of Craft Outlet or Trendy Tree. Those are usually my two that I use a lot besides some shops on Etsy. 
the the beware of dog kisses sign came from Hobby Lobby and I do know they still have some of those at in Lafayette yesterday and went to the at home store and they were having a big clearance 50% off of stuff would you believe that I did walk out with not anything I didn't buy anything I did look at a lot of the Halloween stuff in fall stuff that they're putting out. Saw some really cute little gnomes for fall that I thought were really cute that I may have to go back and get. But their uh, summer items was all 50% off. So if you're needing any new outdoor stuff, outdoor furniture, cushions, they were on sale. Now's the time to get them. Doesn't seem possible, but they'll probably be putting out the winter clothes before long. At least the back to school stuff. I know they're doing that because I saw some of that in uh, Bed Bath and Beyond when I was in there. And the, these ribbons today, I just cut them. I didn't dovetail them, I just angle cut them because um, a couple of them do like to fray a little bit when you do that, so I just didn't cut them that way. It's less fraying if you just do an angle cut. I just take my fingers and kind of give them a little bit of a curl. And I'm going to hold this up real quick facing me so I can just kind of take a look at it. snip your ends of your deco mesh and your paper mesh with scissors. Don't pull on them because the more you pull, the more it's going to fray. Okay. This is the finished product. I've got it out as far as it's going to go. Hold it up this way a little bit. 
it up. This is the finished product. And see, it was just real quick and easy. And I uh, maybe put some directions on for you guys on how to do this, but it's just simple, just really simple and easy. If you have any questions or, or comments, just leave it down there in, in the comment section and I'll get back with you. I do want to again talk about one thing before I go off, and that's these uh, ribbon tail boards. Uh, last weekend I had a wreath class, and I had nine ladies. I'm just going to sit down here a little bit. I had nine ladies, and I, of course, had to cut all the ribbons for those war are those wreaths, and I used these boards. And I'm telling you, they cut my time in half. And these boards aren't just for wreath makers. They can be uh, for anyone that does a lot of ribbon cutting. Like if you make hair bows for, for little girls, you can make them, they come in, I believe, smaller sizes than the 10, 12, and I know she goes bigger. I, I get these from Hot Mesh Mom, and you can find her on uh, Etsy, and you can find her on Facebook, but I'm telling you, those are wonderful. They, they cut my time in half, cutting all those ribbons, because I, like I said, I had nine, I had probably... Oh gee, um, hundred or more of ribbons to cut, and that just uh, cut the time in half for me. So I just wanted to mention that if you do any other crafting at all, even you know scrapbooking, or like I said, if you make hair bows, or if you do lots of ribbons on um, dance uniforms, that sort of thing. Those come in really handy, and they're not real expensive either, and she ships pretty quick. So, okay, uh, that's our dog wreath for today, and I wish everybody a happy Sunday evening and an awesome week. Bye.